Welcome to Fat City Finance. Today we're diving into a topic that's on everyone's radar. The tech behemoth with a brand so powerful, it's become synonymous with innovation. So if you're ready to expand your financial horizons, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for all the latest updates. Your support helps us continue to provide you with the best financial content out there. So without further ado, Apple, a brand that's more than just a tech stock. This giant of the tech world has built a reputation that reaches far beyond the realm of technology, establishing itself as a cultural icon. With a brand value that's consistently ranked among the top globally, Apple has carved a niche for itself that is virtually unassailable. But what gives Apple this formidable strength? It's the company's powerful brand and its economic moat. An economic moat, in business parlance, refers to a company's ability to maintain competitive advantages over its competitors in order to protect its long-term profits and market share from competing firms. And Apple's economic moat is as wide as they come. This economic moat is largely built on Apple's brand strength. The brand allows Apple to charge premium prices for its products, leading to a high operating margin. This, in turn, has resulted in significant cash reserves for the company strengthening its financial position, and providing a buffer against any potential downturns. To put this into perspective, consider that Apple's operating margin is consistently higher than the industry average. This means that for every dollar of revenue Apple generates, a greater proportion is left as profit after accounting for the costs of production. This profitability is a testament to the strength of Apple's brand and its economic moat. Moreover, Apple's cash reserves are nothing short of staggering. The company boasts a cash pile that would make even some countries envious. This financial strength provides Apple with incredible flexibility, allowing it to invest in new products, buy back shares, and weather economic storms. However, it's not all rosy for Apple. Despite its powerful brand and economic moat, the company has experienced a decline in revenue in the most recent fiscal year. This raises questions about Apple's future growth prospects, especially given its heavy reliance on the iPhone. Without a game-changing new product, the future seems uncertain for Apple. Now let's look at Apple's current valuation. Remember, price-to-earnings, or P.E. ratio, is a key metric we use to gauge a company's valuation. It's the price you pay for each dollar of a company's earnings. In the case of Apple, its P.E. ratio is about 31. To put it into perspective, the average P.E. ratio of companies in the S&P 500 is around 20, so Apple's P.E. ratio is well above the average. But what does this high P.E. ratio mean? Well, it's like paying a premium for a product. You're paying more for each dollar of Apple's earnings than you would for most other companies. This high price might be justified if the company has outstanding growth prospects. However, the picture isn't rosy here. Apple's revenue growth has slowed down recently. The company still heavily depends on the iPhone, which makes up a substantial chunk of its income. But with the smartphone market saturating, Apple needs a new, game-changing product to sustain its growth. At the moment, such a product is not in sight. Moreover, the high valuation means that the stock is priced for perfection. Any slip in earnings or a slower growth rate could lead to a significant price correction. This is a risk that investors need to be aware of. So, where does this leave us? With a P.E. ratio of 31 and limited growth prospects, Apple's high valuation implies that the chances of it outperforming the overall market in the next five years are quite slim. Unless Apple's valuation drops significantly or it comes up with a revolutionary product, the odds are stacked against it. So what does all this mean for potential investors? Let's take a step back and consider everything we've talked about. Apple's powerful brand and the high operating margin it enjoys have allowed it to create a substantial financial cushion. This strong financial position, coupled with its ability to command premium prices for its products, has contributed significantly to its impressive stock performance, outpacing the S&P 500 by a whopping 638%. But it's not all rosy. Apple's growth prospects are looking more limited now. The company's revenue has seen a dip in the most recent fiscal year. It's heavily reliant on the iPhone and needs to bring something new and exciting to the table to drive future gains. Moreover, Apple's current valuation is quite steep, trading at a price-to-earnings ratio of about 31. This high valuation, coupled with the company's slowing growth prospects, may be cause for concern. Looking at the data and charts, 
it becomes clear that the current setup does not provide a high probability of outperforming the overall market in the next five years. This is unless the valuation drops significantly. And so we arrive at the crux of the matter. Given the current state of affairs, the odds seem to be stacked against Apple providing the kind of returns it has in the past. Therefore, unless the valuation drops significantly, it may be best to pass up on buying Apple shares at this time. And that's a wrap on today's discussion. We hope that this conversation has provided you with some food for thought and will help guide your investment decisions. We appreciate you spending your time with us today. If you found this video insightful, do us a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content and ring that bell to stay updated on all our latest videos. Your support helps our channel grow and enables us to continue bringing you top-notch financial insights. Thanks for watching and as always, happy investing!